Can we welcome up next, uh, Mike Sinler? Hey, uh, good to be here. Thanks, everybody. Happy, I guess you would call it, uh, Women's History Month. Uh, could you possibly uh, go ahead and uh, do the screen sharing? I just sort of, I would have said something before. I just sort of assumed it would be going. But yes, no, maybe. Okay, I've made you a co-host, Michael. That, that should allow you to share your screen okay, now. Okay, there we go. That does it. Um, and this is a piece that's actually in the Denver um, Art Museum. Um, called uh, Elizabeth, Mrs. John Bostock by Joseph Wright of Darby, who probably more of you over there than here know is most famous for his paintings of horses. But uh, obviously he painted other chattel as well, which is what a woman would be in 1769. So this is Elizabeth's tale. Yes, it's true. I'm not exceptionally pretty but my father provided an ample dowry to make sure I'd be suitably wed. And when Mr. Bostock nodded his head, my fate was sealed with nary a thought of what I wanted as if I'd been bought like the purebred horses regally framed for which Mr. Wright is rightly famed. And so I sit and with his brush, he paints skin, my husband ne'er deign touch he prefer, who he who prefers to consort with sordian courtesans of a lower sort, never caring about my own comfort. But I do not dally like a tart with those who try to steal my heart because I know them insincere and also because of fear the scandal a dalliance might rake if discovered and then so to speak, I'd be little more than a vanquished ghost my presence unwanted by any host. And so I sit and while the hours away, ruin my accursed wedding day. And I'd love to do a second piece, but there's so many great people on the waiting list. So I'm just going to leave it at that. So thank you all very much. It's very kind of you, Mike, you're a gentleman. Uh, remember I asked at the beginning, like, are we feeling cultured yet? Well, we've had some art and an expressive poem as well now. So cheers for that, Michael. And we've had singing. We've had loads going on tonight. 